Hey everybody, just doing a quick video today about some things that never change. And we're going to be looking at Logic. Um, we're looking at this on the newest Mac Mini uh, with the M1 processor. And just something that I wish that no matter how many breakthroughs Apple or other computer companies come through with, that I wish we could think of some better ways to handle some of our instruments. So for instance, I've got Alchemy loaded. This is arguably one of the most uh, processor intense instruments inside Logic's default set. I'm gonna play just a chord here with this sound. So if I was doing some cool sound design, Look at my performance meter here. That thing just goes up to 100% and stays there. Um, this isn't a huge deal right this moment with this project because it's the only thing that's in here besides a grand piano. And it wouldn't be a problem after I'm done recording. Um, we know that Logic gives priority to open record-enabled tracks so that it can handle them. And under the current architecture and the previous architecture, it uses one thread and it can't ever expand on to a second one um, the way it's built. And there's reasons for this. I, uh, people have explained it to me and I, I think I somewhat understand it, but um, it doesn't mean that I like it because if you get to a full project with a lot of stuff going on and you need to record another alchemy part, we're in a little bit of trouble here because Say you have stuff going across all of your threads and you have your buffer size expanded all the way to its max, which you don't even really want when you're recording because it's going to add delay. So you have to lower that down. You're going to run into some issues. I will say with the new M1, even when I max it out, I mean, it is still responsive. It is still playing the stuff. It doesn't have any problems. It's just going to 100%. And um, and so that's fine. A couple things you can do, though. Logic uh, is great about layering what it needs. So, for instance, I can go to the ultra mode. And I will often do that after I'm done recording something when I'm in a situation where I need to do this. If I'm in a full session and I need to add something, I'm gonna switch the quality to draft. Which, it does go still all the way up at certain points, but it doesn't go all the way up as much as the, the ultra mode. I'm playing on my keyboard here. And so, it is gonna take less, and um, it will, in a pinch, hopefully be able to help you get what you need out of this. So then when we're done recording, I go back to Ultra. And let's actually show you what that looks like. Let's record just a couple notes here. Okay, so you know now I have something like that happening. We can get out of the record mode. Still on that channel. Let's take it off of that for a second. Now the thread for that instrument is a fraction of what it was, and now it's looking at the uh, the piano input. One cool thing you can always do is set this on a, a track which doesn't have a live input. Um, for instance, if we do a new drummer track make that our selection push play the only thread we're really seeing there is for the actual let's do that so it's starting to get spread out and none of them are going up to 100% the other instrument, which of course we can do this with, uh, that has traditionally taken a lot of processing requirements, 
would be Sculpture. This one can do some really amazing sounds. And under the right um, circumstances, say we have warmth turned up and we have polyphony turned up to 16. And say then we do the morph and we have things moving around. We do everything we can essentially. Have all our objects turned on. You see right now it's barely going up to 25%, but there are some patches in here which certainly could go more than that. And so what we do is we, let's just see if we can find one. Okay, so even some of these, this is so much more efficient on the M1 than it was previously. Alchemy, you'll see, does go up. If you find one that you're having an issue with, you can always expand and turn the render mode down to the lowest one. If we go to the high definition one, you'll see it does go higher. Not only does it go higher, but it stays consistently higher. So it could be that while we're recording, we want to do it on basic, and then we can go to the high definition if we like the sound better. It, the sound does change for the render modes. And so you have to also be to be willing to listen to it and make sure that it's going to work for you in both cases. So the instruments, some of them that are the most beastly, come with different options to help be more efficient. And so we can do all of this and um, work within the restrictions of our processor and be able to still use them. Um, Alchemy, in some cases, because of what it can do, um, certainly is something to, to think about. When we're playing this, for instance, and we have all four sources plus the morph happening, and some of these are using you know formant changes or additive. Um, let's see if any of these are actually... So we have a sampler, additive. Um, let's go back up here for a second. So we have spectral. And we can come through and do some really fantastic things with this. So here's our spectral. And let's use our eraser. So we can do some really complex uh, sound design. It'll start hitting that in one second. I mean, this is some complex stuff. And it's doing that all real time. It's doing very interesting things real time. We can have four different types of completely different synthesis all happening. And um, I think that uh, alchemy is definitely uh, not everyone realized just how powerful this thing can be. Um, I'm not surprised it takes up an entire thread when doing some of the more advanced things. Uh, the truth is, is that I'm, I'm still surprised it can do some of them. And that we could do it before we had some of the more powerful things. But we, with the newer stuff, it doesn't, even if it hits 100, it's not distorting. It's not dropping out. It's not causing other issues. It's just uh, really hitting that limit. Okay, that's all I really wanted to show today was some of the ways that you still have to think about processing. And you still have to be careful when you're recording. Um, and some of these things are going to take up. An entire one-eighth of what your computer do is doing. And um, if you have a project that is taking up 80% of what you already can do, then, uh, you know, it's going to be pushing the limits. And so you have to think about how to work within that paradigm. Okay, that's it for today. Hope you're having a great holiday. Um, Happy New Year to everybody. And uh, we'll be doing a bunch of new videos in 2021.